some sister. He comes out here to her older sister Ursa Ariana and makes tells her she's gonna be a part of this impromptu match, which I assume is obviously all natural comes to the ring. There's gonna be a two on two double X tag team match. You know, Ursa Ariana's not ready to prepare. Not as a matter of if we have this fight whether we like it or not. The following contest is a tag team match. Now introducing their opponents. From Ann Michigan, Andorra, and Gemini, Onatura. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're all sitting at home. Why, where the hell of all people Onatura is going to face the, the Orianos here today? Well, you saw Fall Night Bash, you saw the return of Onatura and Al Gore. Yes, they took a two month hiatus. Last time we saw him with a beach party sign up for the defeat of the team of Coco, Mickey Team, and Def Becker They're in an intergender tag team match. They came out and apparently they were talking about they were going to have this new strategy they were preparing for, you know, like for 2012 or some garbage like that. It was Al Gore and Ona Charles and they orchestrated that, that organization where they randomly picked the little to allow to survive the end of the world. But then of all people, Athena, a new Double X, Black Rose, and of course an old e e enemy of uh, Ona Charles. Mickey James all together was able to come out to confront O Natural, like O Natural does all the time. They they run away to fight another day. So hopefully these six doubles will these six people will fight in the near future. I guess I mean heard Olivia somehow made this match here. Remember the enforcers left the arena so the inmates will be running the asylum. So who knows what will happen here tonight? That was already underway, and Ursario, of course, showing that she's always prepared for a fight. She just took her close up, that she's ready to compete here. And I Olivia that, that break up that pin right there, and early going. And she uh, shoots and drops the ropes. Huge spinning kick, nice athletic by Ursariano there. Trying to bring the momentum back in the favor here. The door, though, that cheap little blow. Trying to turn Ursa Ari over on her over here with this Boston Crab is right on the ropes. He's grabbed it. He saw Olivia there and kind of getting exchanged some shots with Gemini. Who has all the momentum here? Shoots her off, jumps over, setting her up here, and takes her down. And ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are just joining in on joining us on assault here. That lady in that in Ursula's corner in the in the purple brush outfit that is the Zora Blanca. It was revealed that Hornet Bachelor was Olivia Ariano, Ursula's younger sister, who who after her mask was taken off and was revealed who she was. And now we have this impromptu tag team match. Impromptu is right, as you did say earlier in the show first start, the inmates are running the asylum. This match wasn't even scheduled until a few moments ago. God Gemma, I got a huge suplex. Right, it's the only thing that's scheduled. Only two, it's only two matches originally scheduled here tonight. Of course, the Mythbusters will face the Gridiron Greats following for the Tag Team Championships. And later tonight, Luke Fowler will face Spike in an Extreme Rules match. This one, I'll get Gemini with the foot on the ropes. And the referee with the wearable to let it break up. Of course, with the help of Olivia Ariano trying to help. Oh, got the tag in here. Going for a double team maneuver here. The Ariano sisters with that double hip toss on the kick to the back. Olivia Ariana not in a one count there. And obviously these two sisters didn't see eye to eye in the early going here before the match even started, but already they already have some pretty damn good tag team chemistry here. And pretty good tag team offense. Huge elbow. Since Jim Rife flopping the minute on this roll up. And Dora wasted no time to break that up. Just pulling Olivia right off of Gemini. Gemini though, just, oh my god, it's wrenching the neck of Olivia here. Goes to a force to come in and break that up. Yeah. Olivia getting out of dodge there, but it wasn't fast enough with Gemini right there. It slams her back, back of her head on the mat. Remember that mat, even though it's a simple might seem kind of soft to bleed up in that ring before. It has no give whatsoever. Speaking of no give, Andorra comes back in the ring here against Olivia. I mean, I talked to a 
Oh, natural yesterday, and they told me that they're going to make a huge comeback in the, here. They've been training for the time off they've had. And they said they want to be future women's tech and champions. They want to be put in the limelight where they belong. Of course, we all know that's BS. We all know they'll take any opportunity to get more airtime as possible to tell all the BS and whatnot. Especially the new Blockbuster 2012 coming out here in a couple of weeks. And oh my god, Olivia with that huge motion off the top rope goes for cover hooks to leg and a semi in the nick of time is just pulling Olivia Mon or Olivia Ariano off. Now look at this. Olivia sits on and Dorothy flies to the outside there. Oh, what's this? Oh my god! That Phoenix splash, that, that huge backflip. Of who moves it by Olivia off the top of the door on the outside. Don't see such high risk athleticism by, by anyone ever before. You know what Olivia learned that technique in Mexico. Yeah, look at uh, Olivia on the apron. What you going to do? That huge, they dropped the that huge ass boot across the throat of Andorra. And on top here, oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! Olivia Ariana doing so many flips in the air I've never seen in my life. This could be it right here. This has to be all a Gemini in the nick of time pulling once again Olivia off her own own natural partner Andorra. Couldn't even count those many flips, Rock Jock. I can't count either. It might take like a like one of the Mythbusters high speed camera to, to see who this, this is exactly how many flips that was. Oh my god, Andorra in that face buster. Modified stroke. Yeah, we saw Ursa pacing across the apron, and you know she wants to get back in the ring because you know Ursa's always looking for a fight. And if there's anyone that she wants to beat the hell of, you know it's gonna be Oh Man. Trying to take all the rest of the double X's. And a double D T on Olivia. The right to be right here. And uh, some of Ursa got through and door and break up that pin attempt. What offense we've seen here. A little, a little, Livy Ariano, it's like she came into her own after unveiling herself, unmasking. And Dora once again. Olivia cannot catch a break. She gets shot off once more. And Gemini trying to bring things back. And he goes after and Dora on the apron. She gets shot off. Gemini not having that. Sends her in her own corner. Obviously, Dora not there for the tag, but she doesn't need it right now. Door back up. Do this surfboard stretch. Yeah. And Olivia here, the rules referee somehow not even bothering to allow himself to get distracted by Endora and Ursa fighting right next to him. The referee needs to learn to get more control of this match. That spike DDT drilling like right on her neck. Back up though, and it's taken right back down that clothesline. Or so the fresh double X. Oh, Gemma able to stand up with that spike DDT. Olivia cheering her on on the apron. Puts down this arm bar here. And now Ursa has him right in the corner of she wants her. Then, uh, headlock that she's gonna do. Huge STO that's coming from Ursula's martial arts background and using it to her advantage here. But, but Gemini now with that waist, that wrist lock, but what she can do he, and it's grabs Ursula by the head and set the face foot on the mat. You know it's gonna rearrange Ursula's precious features there. And she's like, oh my god, did you see did you see the elevation that Ursula got by that flapjack? Moving to the center of the ring here, hoping to get a cover. Oh, not even a one count. We're still paying with so much punishment here tonight. Jim, I cannot seem to connect with these combinations here. Turns around the corner, sets her up here, puts her face right into the turnbuckle. And that padding is not pleasant. Am I looking for a tag here? She gets it and door. What kind of double team maneuver is she gonna are we gonna see here? This floats over. Oh my god, that springboard elbow drop. Wait a minute here, the foot on the ropes, foot on the ropes, referee doesn't see it. No, not like this. 
thank goodness a two count there. You know, Ursa wouldn't want to lose by that. But man, for goodness sake, this type of offense by own Rachel ever. We all know that talent they definitely improve. Ursa is going to do you want to the top with this is the floor. Oh my! Taking her head off.